President Trump has declared a national emergency to get more federal money for his long-promised border wall. In the White House Rose Garden on Friday, the president announced his plan to use billions from military construction and counter-drug efforts to fund the wall. His move comes after Congress approved a spending measure to avoid another government shutdown that included $1.4 billion for the wall far less than Mr. Trump had requested. And it's already coming under scrutiny with multiple lawsuits filed to stop the president's emergency declaration. After the announcement, Mr. Trump flew to his Florida resort where he's spending the weekend. Errol Barnett is traveling with the president. Errol, good morning. Good morning. Look, while the fight that caused the government shutdown is over, the battle over the president's emergency declaration, that is just getting heated up. Now, even though the president signed the congressional spending bill, his Rose Garden announcement of this national emergency is likely to be challenged in the courts, which could potentially end up all the way at the Supreme Court. I didn't need to do this, but I'd rather do it much faster. President Trump conceded his impatience with Congress led him to declare a national emergency in order to secure border wall funding and crafted a hyperbolic interpretation of immigrants pouring into the U.S. We have an invasion of drugs and criminals coming into our country. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, apprehensions are down 76 percent from a record high 19 years ago. And the number of undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. is at its lowest point since 2004. They say walls don't work. Walls work 100 percent. The administration is planning to spend roughly $8 billion to spend 234 miles of steel wall. In addition to the $1.4 billion agreed to by Congress, $600 million will come from the Treasury Department and the rest will be from the Pentagon. $2.5 billion that would have been used to fight drug trafficking and $3.6 billion taken from military construction projects. And I won't go into details, but didn't sound too important to me. He's been embarrassed, and his base needs to be fed. California's Democratic governor, Gavin Newsom, is filing a lawsuit to challenge the emergency declaration. Donald Trump will see you in court. The American Civil Liberties Union announced it would also file a suit. And House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler called for a hearing to investigate the serious constitutional and statutory issues the declaration raises. If he gets away with this, um, Presidents become much more powerful. Sadly, we'll be sued, and sadly, uh, it'll go through a process, and happily, we'll win, I think. Mr. Trump dismissed criticism, suggesting he is setting a bad precedent, saying previous presidents have declared national emergencies. The people that say we create precedent, well, what do you have, 56 or a lot of times, well, that's creating precedent, and many of those are far less important than having a border. Now, three Texas landowners and an environmental group have already filed a lawsuit challenging this emergency declaration. They say they were told by the government a border wall could extend through their properties if money was made available this year. Anthony? Errol Barnett, thanks very much, Errol.